Annyeong! This is Noon Army. So today's video was filmed directly after I did the last video, which is the haul for all of these cards that I traded or purchased. I wanted to show you a little glimpse of how I store my cards because from what I've seen and I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, I really enjoy it on, on photo card collection and organization and storage. The way I do it is different. Um, it, I don't store them in binders, so I store them in soft sleeves, which I have the, the ones that I use here on the left, and then I put them in top loaders, which again I have here on the right. So I just wanted to show a quick video of how I would store these photo cards because we got a good variety of sizes here. So you have the album PCs that are really small, and then you have the tour mini PCs, which are bigger and then we have these clear cards so i think it was just an interesting idea to show you how i store these different types of cards so let's get to it so as i mentioned so here on the left i have the different soft sleeves that i use they're all acid free they're all archival material and that's really important when you're choosing your sleeves just to make sure that it doesn't damage or discolor the cards that you know you're protecting that's the reason why you got the soft sleeves so i have these soft sleeves which are kmc um hard deck protectors i think and then this are these are and then these are ultra pro i think they're deck protectors matte deck protectors as well and they have a white background and then these slightly bigger sleeves are perfect right now for me for the tour PCs. They're still made with acid-free PVC material and they work really well. They're not as hard as these ones. They're not as firm and as thick, but they still are much better than like penny sleeves. And then I have different top loaders or hard cases here. So these are ultra pro top loaders um i believe they're just the standard card size and then these are the same but they have a white border around them and then these are a7 hard cases that again fit perfectly for these tour sized cards so let's get started um with the smallest cards which are the album pcs mini pcs so the way I store this is I'll grab the soft sleeve with the seal on top and then I'll insert it so that the top of the card goes towards the seal. And that's just to help protect it from, you know, any dust or foreign material for entering the top loader because the top loader does open, you know, on top. <laughs> so that's just how I store it and this is sugar. We'll do the same for this guy. Pretty straightforward, you know. Okay, now for the tour PCs, I insert them the same way. So the seal of the soft sleeve stays on top. I insert the top of the card towards that seal so that we get a really good seal. <laughs> and then I insert that into a hard case. And this fits perfectly. There's no overhang at all, so I love that. So there, <laughs> the ring light. Let's try to focus, Jin. <laughs> so I'll do that for all of these. Okay, so we've done the album mini PCs and then the tour mini PCs. Now we're going to go into something that's interesting. I don't, I enjoy these transparent cards and I don't have a lot of them. That's why when I opened the package and then I got these Lemona cards, I thought it would be great just to show you a glimpse of how I do store them because there is, I, this is quite elaborate to store, I would say. So I use these Ultra Pro deck protectors, matte deck protectors with the white backing because I want to be able to just have it constantly against the white backdrop so that we can really clearly see the card. 
So what I'll do is I'll insert it the same way, which is the seal is right on top, and then the top of the card goes towards that seal. And then these sleeves are too short for these Lemina cards, but I think that's all right. Um, and then I insert them in these Ultra Pro top loaders, so the same top loaders that I use for the album mini PCs, but these have a white border because I think it just ties in nicely with the white background that we have in the soft sleeves. So that gets insert inserted this way in there. So that's how it looks, just really nice um, and white. <laughs> so I'll do that for all of these. Now for envelopes or smaller envelopes that go with certain cards. So I do try to preserve them as well. So just like what we have here for the Lemina envelopes that go with the clear cards, I do try to preserve them as well as best as I can. I don't have sleeves that perfectly fit these. Um, I did place an order for a few different sizes of archival sleeves and hopefully those will be able to fit these longer cards a bit better. Let's see. Um, but for now, we'll have to make do with what I have, which are these sleeves. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of like overflow, um, excess envelope that goes beyond the sleeve, but I'll just have to live with that. It's going to be fine because I keep them in the top loaders anyway. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take one card. I only have two of these. So I'll take, let's take RM because he'll go in front um, when I stack them here. So I'll flip that and then I'll put that, I'll slide it at the back all the way down. And there. So even for the top loader, it is still too tall. So you can see a little bit of the envelope kind of peeping through to the top, but that's fine because it's protected with a hard case or the hard sleeve or the soft sleeve rather. Um, I get confused because the, the label is perfect hard because it just means it's a thicker material. So that's why I'm, I'm getting a little bit confused with what to call them. But anyway, so this is how it would look like. It looks like with the white um, background sleeve inserted in the top loader with the envelope. So we'll do the same with this other one and I'll probably put this in J case top loader just because he goes at the end and you'll see what I mean later when I insert it into my little case there okay so now we've sleeved and inserted them in their top loader so we have the mini album PCs here we have the tour mini photo cards and then we have some clear cards from lemina here now i have this case here that this is where i store the mini photo cards so things that are basically smaller than the tour pcs um so these would be the album pcs of course and then the the lemina cards that we have here these i keep in a separate container similar style which is they're they're kind of stacked like this but they're kept in a different container. Um, I won't show that today. Maybe I'll do an, uh, an in-depth video of how I really store these and maybe talk about why I chose to store them this way instead of binders. Okay, so now let's insert these cards into the different sections or the right sections where they belong in. So we'll start off with the Lemina cards first. I do have one Lemina card already, which is Jin. Um, so I'll just put RM in front of him, and that's what I mean when RM goes in front, so I wanted him to have the envelope. And then these guys are arranged by fan chant order, and then JK has the, envelopes he's, the envelope because he's at the end. And then we have Map of the Soul 7 version 2 group card. So I'll just put that here at the start of the version 2 section for Map of the Soul 7 album. And then we have Love Yourself, Her, Sugar. I have one of these cards, which is J-Hope, as you can see here. Um, so Sugar will just go in front of him. 
so yeah and then this case just closes up like this this little holder is actually designed for i think gaming cards oh um, so funny story actually the guy who sells them so i purchased from him like four times online and i i bought the sleeves from him i bought this from him so the last order that i made which included this he personally delivered it to my house i think he was expecting like some i don't know <laughs> some teenagers or heart or some hardcore like gaming card aficionado and then it was me <laughs> i didn't bother to tell i didn't have the heart to tell him that i don't know i'm not gonna use it for like i don't know magic the gathering cards or pokemon cards or even nba cards i'm gonna use it for k-pop for bts photo cards so anyway i think there is a market for that if that guy happens to watch this video this is why i use what i use the case for and i think it's a big market you know you could expand your your target audience with the products that you offer because we use them <laughs> so i just put these and it came plain of course because again they're for gaming cards i just put these bt21 leather stickers on top i love these stickers and they they are stuck there pretty well and they're really good material so anyway that was just a little glimpse of how i store um a little bit of how i organize these photo cards that i do have I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe I'll make a longer video that goes in depth on all the materials that I use, how I store them, and why I chose to store them this way instead of binders. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!